it's a custom circuit or it's a toy glue gun you will need to find something to power it but these two things use different voltage level this one uses 3 volts this one uses 5 volts now you need something that's variable so what I have here is a variable power supply it gives off volts DC and it's variable from 0 to 32 volts okay let's get started okay so this is the power supply itself it has a volt display and an amp display so if you want to set the volts you can click on this top knob right here and then when you turn it it goes up you can also select uh, hundreds tenths volts and ten volts and then you can crank it up it's the same for amps as well so you can crank down or crank up now there's an on off switch right here this one for this version yep oh forgot to mention this is the UTP 1306 uh, power supply so DC so we have three memory so on we have memory 1 memory 2 and memory 3 which we can set we'll explain in an in-depth video later so the three have your voltage and current selected properly you can click uh, you can uh, press the button on off so you can know if it's on or off by the green hue if it's green it means it's on so when you press on as you can see the amp goes to zero this is because it's measuring real time so before when we set the current limit short it and see the amp short it fine when i short it nothing happens you know why nothing happens because your ground is not connected yes sir we <laughs> see so for connecting voltage so we have three of them we have green black and red this is plus this is minus and this is ground so if i connect it properly we can see there we go you can see a spike of amps see it's shorted so i connect it continue if i connect it if i hold it as you can see six amps eh, yeah but it has a protection circuit inside so it doesn't blow up but sometimes it does so there's this thing called C constant current and constant voltage what is it can you explain constant current and constant voltage so constant voltage means wh whatever you do the voltage will stay the same but amps will change but constant constant current means the amp will stay the same but the voltage can change you mean it has reached its current limit that you said? Yeah, I think so. And there's a over voltage protection and over current protection. We can explain that in the in the video later. Yep, because it will get too hard for some people. So the conclusion will be power supplies used to deliver power to your electronics. It has its own voltage and current rating. This one is rated for 32 volt and 6 amps. Has and expensive, yeah, and three output pins for this one, which is positive, negative, and ground. You know and what? Then for some models, they may have an on-off switch, but for some, they just turn their output on with the unit. So you need to short it, set the current limit. Yes. You know what? I will actually set the voltage to five volts, and I will and I will test it on an Arduino. Now I will connect VIN. Hope I don't short anything. Yep, and then for ground, not ground, minus, we can connect it to here. As you can see, the circuit lights up. Can you see? There's a green hue. Here, can you see? There's a green thing that lights up. Yep, we can all clearly see. Yeah, we'll get a close-up. 
All right, that's it for this video. So in conclusion, variable power supplies can change their voltage to our, and current to our liking. There's also a power supply which has voltages like 5, 12, something like that. Okay, so there are two types of variable power supplies. There's a linear and there's a switching. This one in particular is a switching. So they differ between how they adjust uh, voltages. One uses a transformer and like a Baku circuit of some sort. And the other one uses PWM to adjust voltages. So power supplies are very useful and are mandatory for every electronics hobbyist. They can, they're, they're not even that expensive. They're like what, a thousand bucks? And, and if you can't afford them, you can make them out of ATX power supplies, which have a set voltage. But you can use buck or boost circuits to get your variable voltage. Yeah, we'll link a video in the description that people have done it before. So, thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next video. Goodbye!